Well, they failed because the, the COMEX fought back. Uh, so who is controlling all this stuff? Well, people have a lot more money than you and I have. Now, they're controlling it on paper, right. but sooner or later, the demand of the small investors has got to take over. The COMEX, spot price, silver shortage, supply and demand, market manipulation. What is going on with silver? Well, I was able to pick up these beautiful uh, silver items from someone in our community for just around spot. And it was a great deal. It was a deal that I actually clued my local coin shop dealer, Tim, into the owner of the coin and stamp shop. And we're going to hear some words of wisdom from my LCS dealer, Tim. When do you see premiums returning to normal? Boy, I tell you, it's, oh. we're in a supply and demand load right now. Um, I guess when the supply increases so it can satisfy everybody's demand, mm -hmm. we may see the premiums come down. So someone in our community uh, was very generous and wanted to liquidate some. Let me have first did, so I grabbed some of his silver. And you bought everything that was left, everything that Yankee wouldn't take. You got, right? Yeah, I got almost 300 ounces. 140 <laughs> one-ounce bars. I think yep. I have 20 left. I that bought uh, 10 10-ounce bars, and they're all gone. And I bought five of those um, five-ounce rounds, and they're gone. Um, you know, that's pretty much everything I got is, uh, is either gone or uh, will be gone by tomorrow. So th that's what you're seeing, right? You're seeing a very little selling and incredible buying demand. The demand is high. Yes. Yeah. And low stock. Very high. What is going on? But I got an email from someone that said that the COMEX was short 423 million ounces for delivery this March, mid-month. And in that, and the other thing he said was that his brother works in a large mine. And he told me on this email that his brother was told that no silver or gold is to leave the mine until further notice. I think that's a pricing issue. I think they're, um, everybody, you know, from the mines all the way up to uh, the COMEX understand how high demand is. And they're probably positioning themselves to make the best profit. There are a lot of companies that traditionally have made, you know, silver rounds and bars in huge quantities, mm -hmm. and they're not delivering anything. And, um, you know, I, I contacted I one yeah. company that I've done business with in the past, and they don't have anything to deliver, which kind of concerns me. And the U.S. Mint claims that, or they did a month ago, they issued a bulletin that they weren't able to get the blanks that they had contracted for. From the, Is that the Sunshine um, Mint? Yeah, I think they're all being supplied by Sunshine now. And Sunshine's not making the, a lot of their own stuff. So, they can't get the planchettes? Uh, yes. They deliver a bar form, the bar, and somebody cuts the bars. Okay. I'm not sure if it's Sunshine or, or the uh, U.S. Mint. There is no end in sight that I can see for the premiums for our silver. What's going to change it? No, I don't, I don't either. I, but I, I'm very curious about the lack of supply. I'm not really sure what it's all about. Because uh, in years past, I mean, there was an abundance of silver available. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were, we were buying everything for very, very close margins and, um, and selling everything at approximately the same rate we are now but it's so much harder to get anything and, and getting it for a reasonable price is almost impossible. I'm not sure what the chain looks like because, you know, again, 75% of the silver that's mined is coming from byproduct mining. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, you know, it's copper and nickel and zinc and lead mines all produce silver. In total, that accounts for 75% of the silver that's mined. I mean, there is some constraint to the supply. It may be at the mining level, um, that would be a, you know, a reasonable assumption, but it seems to be throughout the chain. You know, the big companies who distribute it um, have basically nothing. They're advertising high prices and they've got you know, every other item is out of stock. How long have you been a uh, uh, coin dealer? This is our 30th year. Have you, have you ever seen it like this? 
No, not really. No, you, it's, 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 see, but we, we also haven't seen other markets like this. Uh, remember, we, I mentioned the uh, situation in 1987 with a market crash. Uh, that market was controlled by individual investors mm -hmm. and individuals got spooked and sold out on Black Monday. Um, the individual means nothing in these markets. It's mm -hmm. the commodities markets are all run by hedge funds. Um, stock markets, bond markets, everything is run by a hedge fund. They're also trading, you know, hundreds of billions of dollars every day. Mm -hmm. And that never used to be the case. Spot's been dropping. Yeah, before I uh, picked up the phone, I saw that uh, I was looking at Bloomberg and mm. uh, silver had dropped below 27 again. Yep. And, um, and gold was on the way down again. So exactly. we're seeing inflation across things like food and lumber and copper, building materials. Why are gold and silver not responding to that inflationary fear? Yeah, it's a good question. I think there's, there's still uh, a lot of positioning going on down on Wall Street. Um, hmm. You know, they, whatever happens in the, in the Dow happens because they let it happen. You know, they shut down an industry like the you know, fossil fuel industry mm -hmm. Uh, without an alternative in place is insanity. I mean, if you have alternative jobs for people who are working on a pipeline, well, that, that may be a good time to consider shutting down the pipeline, but just throw tens of thousands of people out of work. Hmm. I mean, you know, what's, what was the last unemployment claims or topped a million again? Um, you know, it, things are not getting any better on the, on the job front. You know, it's, so it's hard to say what this government is doing and how mm -hmm. far they're going to push this green agenda mm -hmm. uh, without coming back to common sense. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, the whole shortage of silver and gold could be driven by a lot of people getting spooked simultaneously. I mean, it could really be a, a, a huge increase in demand. I have a feeling that if we start to see the demand industrially going through the roof. That is what will drive uh, the price way up. What do you think? It is, but you would think it would be going up with the um, lack of inventory that's currently know. out there. And that's, you know, that hasn't happened yet. There's been no connection between uh, what's available for, mm -hmm. for purchase mm -hmm. to people like us yep. and then um, what the actual price is. And you know when they when the it's a so-called retail investor tried to force the price of silver up to you know over thirty dollars, and they failed. They failed because the the COMEX fought back. Uh, so, who is controlling all this stuff? Well, people with a lot more money than you and I have, and um, you know they're controlling it on paper. Right. But sooner or later, the demand of the small investors got to take over. Um, it it just can't be avoided. I don't understand why. Elon Musk decided to go after, you know, Bitcoin. He should have been going after silver. He needs it. <laughs> well, we, we don't know he isn't investing mm -hmm. in silver. And we also don't know that Warren Buffett isn't. And, um, you know, take the whole list of billionaires. They may very well be investing in silver. He's not the retail investor that the, you know, the COMEX was, uh, was talking about, the ones they were fighting with. It, you know, it's the same as the, the, the GameStop. Right. Um, right. You know those those stocks that they um, that they pumped up. Um, I think the COMEX assumed that this was a very short term thing, and you know if they got silver over thirty dollars, they were going to turn around and cash in. That's why the the bid price kept dropping. And you know, so let's say you, when they forced it up to thirty dollars, the margin went from um, ten cents to a dollar, and then to two dollars. Mm -hmm. And that's when they, you know, those retail investors, that's when they dropped out. But uh, that's the paper market. I will put uh, Tim's uh, contact information in the description of the video. Uh, you, just give him a ring, see what he has available. Thanks a lot, Tim, for helping us understand what's going on. It, it's still a good buying opportunity. All right, Ben. Thanks so much. Thank you. Take care. Well, there you have it. Great words of wisdom from Tim Marshner. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to put a comment down below as to what you think 
of Tim's words. And I'm just going to start stacking all these beautiful coins back up. Until next time, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.